all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop will be the first world we'll collector let's go down to the news proper i see the hot you don't share the matter will be say it day for my table uh the story long ago uh as he be say the republic what do they call NIG hmm the things where we say they happen there uh if we say now soon mm, they go break down oh, because as things they be uh nobody one color be uh, for one side as he be uh all those BH boys where they say they don't repent to <laughs> you know say they repent the government carry them come back uh, as government carry them come back, they place them under salary, and the government we are paying those repentant uh, BH boys per month. Meanwhile, a, a youth service corp that retired from service does not even have any work, and somebody who has been in the bush for a long time terrorizing a community, after he said that he's repented, you see the government paying them. Uh, salary in order for them not to, to go back to their crime and i am saying is this not encouragement for his uh, laziness uh, you're encouraging these people to be lazy and also you're encouraging them to keep on carrying their guns because uh, once the government don't remit money to them you find out that they will go back to their old ways i think i'm um, there are some people who are supposed to be checkmated and removed from the community. And uh, the government, uh, uh, liaising with uh, the, the bandits, uh, trying to set deal with them, is more like telling them that you are empowering their wings more. Uh, like somebody will say, more power to your elbow. You, are want, you want their elbow to become big, bigger and bigger as it be. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, that one, nobody matter what we say, I carry on here. Make I carry you. Uh, go to the full detail of the information where we say a day for my table for emo state as it be they say land, land grabbing court grants family family leave to serve other the mass as a one area by substituted means and uh, now the matter where we say it they happen now and yeah, a land grabbing i say any government will come in uh, they go want grab all the land if na local government chairman in go use that influence um uh, Collect land where they for in community. If na senator, the same thing. If na governor, the same thing. Uh, you get one governor that time for Imo State uh, with the current Mokrocha. The man uh, was able to open a lot of ways wherever he found out that the land that once the road that Galadier, the land is sellable. And that was how it happened. And then um, up until now, they are still dragging even the present government somehow. Uh, are carrying putting eye for what the man do. Remember, say for Imo State right now, the zoo where you know in the in the geolo geological map of Nigeria and the Biafra land where we say Jew where they for naked the Imo State over uh, say the government of hope was the man for Zonding Jo has planned on removing that zoo. The zoo will be uh, relocated and that is going to be a deform to the Biafran ge uh, geographical uh, geographical map because that zoo has been there and it is known as uh, uh, one of the um, part of the embodiment of history. Now, moving the zoo to another location is not somehow my problem, but how are you going to you know uh, uh, come back with same trademark again? Even the last time we went to that zoo, the lion that is inside that zoo, my brother. Uh, that lion, they do a beg. That kind of lion self, if you see me, it's no go fit for sure because hunger don't do the lion. The lion don't think. I see they be. I say Nigeria we hunger day. A uh, person where they give meat, say making give a uh, lion go cut the meat half, carry one put for pocket, carry go. <laughs> and the government can where they give money to to the feed lion. They go say whether they don't chop finish. Now lion, now lion, now go con the chop. I see they be. You know, I see the beef for that matter for Bodo Niger. But meanwhile, uh, don't touch that dial. Still remember that you are still with your one and only Nyokopus master. A high court of Imo State presided over 
by Justice C. N. Okereke has granted the Upper Ugo Ijoko family leave to serve the right of summons and all other processes to a former aide of the Imo State Governor China Sawaneri by substituted means. It was gathered that Moneri has continuously evaded services of the court processes in the matter concerning the alleged forceful takeover of the land known as Mboro farmland by the state government. Also joined in suit number HWHOW, H-O-W, as in HOW, slash 787, slash 2023, as defendant, uh, governor of Imo State, attorney general of the state, Commissioner of Lands in the state and Director, Ministry of Land, Survey and Urban Planning. The family is seeking, among other reliefs, that it is entitled to statutory rights of occupancy over the land, being the bona fide owner by reasons of customary inheritance of Owerenchi, his people. The family is also seeking a declaration of the court that the defendant cannot take over the land without payment of compensation and that the trespasses into the land by the first to fourth defendants at the in instigation of the fifth defendants, China Kamoneri, was illegal and unlawful. The Ajoku family equally urged the court to nullify any sale or purported sale of the land by the defendants. Uh, this one is coming from Ajoku family and the government. Um, now only they said, tell us the time where we could say uh, court now the hope of the common man uh, as it be for NIG court now the hope of the governor so uh, if something they happen to you and you want carry and enter court say may court help you uh, now you be say a don't share it for you and everybody they be say they as it be another information just dropped by bandits don't cry crash they don't buy five people they don't burn down police station no. you don't share it hmm the days are getting bad and evil. Government may not do something because the youths are hungry. An hungry man is an angry man. Um, I know they support violence, but you know that person where they idol, that person, na devil's workshop. So our reporters learned that three villages in the Kufiloku government area of the state were sacked and a police station torched in a banditry raid that claimed five lives. At least three villagers have been sacked by terrorists as banditry and kidnapping for ransom escalated in Kastana State, northwest Nigeria. Uh, before I continue, I think say um, people they say Nandi Ibo na them lack money, Nandi Ibo na them white money, Nandi Ibo. Uh, they say if you woman die, say if you want to raise them up, say make you just carry coin and put for come come shake them, say if the man no wake up, just no say the man don't die. But as it be, Nyamili no be one where they look for money. Now, nah, as someone, now nah, they look for money first. Even the Yoruba people serve their own, don't too much. <laughs> oh, say, Tela. As it be, make I continue with that information where we say I carry come for your domot. Uh, because waiting they happen for Castana State now, and I waiting the cost years for man where you don't bump Pekin. So, I report as land that three villagers in the Cafe local government area of the state were sacked and the police station torched in a banditry raid that claimed five lives. The affected villagers who are now taking refuge in other communities in the state staged a peaceful protest on Friday demanding the restoration of security. Gunmen were reported to have stormed Uma village and opened fire sporadically, forcing residents to scamper to safe areas. The bandits attacked at about 6.30 p.m. and killed five heads of human, so human household. They also cutted away valuables. That's why our people came out to protest. A surviving resident narrated. As we speak, our village has been sacked. No single human being lives there again. We have abandoned everything to stay alive, another resident added. Authorities have confirmed the incident, saying two other villages under Kofi, Lambo, and Guda have also been sacked by the terrorists. The Commissioner for Homeland Security, Nasa Babagida Mazao, said the terrorists had intensified attack in the area. He said during the first raid, the bandits 
went from house to house hunting for those to kidnap. On their second visit, they burned down the police station, forcing the residents to run for their lives. Uh, this one is happening in Nigeria. Uh, uh, what I'm bringing to you will be something where we say they happen for Kavanchan, uh, for Damaturu, and for Nigeria, where me and you, they, now in this one, they happen for Castena. People wait this for this village now. All of them don't run away. Uh, they say they don't sack their village. People know they there. Now I'm be saying that this um what they call them insecurity boys. Uh, and I then go they go they live there now. I see they be these things are person story. These things are people life. So anyway, what you do, make you the thing God say you day and assure for you. Thank you for listening. God bless you.